What's up you guys, it's Jeremy Ray back with another video and inside this one we're going to be talking about how to find products that are currently making thousands a day that you could sell yourself on your own dropshipping store. Now when it comes to finding winning products there is a few things you should consider and number one is the marketing method you're going to be using. So you have paid advertising like Facebook ads, TikTok ads, Snapchat ads and then you have organic marketing which is like TikTok organic, Snapchat organic, Instagram reels, YouTube shorts. Now although both these marketing methods are very similar the thing that matters is that you know which one you're going to go with. Because if you're going to start off with paid ads, for example, you want to find winning products that are already making sales off of paid ads. If you're going to sell organic products or you're going to do TikTok organic primarily, which is free marketing and where I recommend you guys start, then you're going to want to find products that are going viral organically and sell those. So basically decide whatever marketing angle you want to start with. And then everything else that I go through in this video is going to be the same. You're just going to be looking for either paid advertisements or you're going to be looking for organic products that are going viral organically and you're going to want to do the same thing. All right, so when it comes to actually finding winning products, all you're going to need to find these is your phone and likely you're watching this on a phone or a laptop and if you have a laptop, you could also use that. However, I definitely prefer doing this part of the product research phase on my phone. That being said, we're just going to go on our phone and pull out TikTok or we could also do this on Instagram. However, I like to start on TikTok for sure. With that being said, all we're going to go ahead and do is type in something like TikTok made me buy it in the search bar. We could also search something like products you need, helpful products, helpful gadgets, really just search anything you think would pull up videos about products. That's all we're trying to do at this phase is just get a bunch of videos that have products in them that we could potentially see if they're making sales and if they are, test ourselves. So all we're gonna be doing now, once we search something like TikTok made me buy it, is going over to videos. Once we go to videos, click these three dots in the top right. This is gonna pull up filters and here you're gonna wanna filter by like count in last three months, then click apply. The reason we wanna filter right here is because we wanna see only the most relevant products that are currently going viral. Now, when we're going ahead and scrolling through these, all I'm looking for is something that catches my eye. One thing I really like to go with is that metric, just what catches your eye? What do you see first when you're scrolling? What makes you stop and look at it? Because that is the factor that makes people watch your video. And a product that's very eye-catching is gonna be a product that gets a lot of attention. And at the end of the day, if you can get attention on your product, that ultimately leads to sales. So with that being said, if we're scrolling through here, as you can see, we just found this product right here. It looks like they're selling some lighters or something. Definitely a product that has potential. As you can see, they have 357,000 followers. So all we would do at this point is go ahead and go to their store. And all we're gonna do is just open it up and then click these three dots and just copy the link. Now, after we copy the link, we could save this link in our notes on our phone or something like that. Now we're gonna wanna go ahead and do this for five to 10 products. So once we have five to 10 links, we're gonna move on to the next step. But until we do, we're just gonna keep doing this same thing. We're gonna go scroll through TikTok. We're gonna see any products that really catch our eye that we think we could sell ourselves. So for example, as we're scrolling through, Right here, here's another one. This, it looks like this projector, my cozy projector. So we could go ahead and click on the store. We're gonna go from the store. So at this point, we can just go ahead and click on the store. Now, once we go to the actual store, copy, and then go save it in our notes once more and click done. Now, like I said, five to 10 products you're gonna wanna do this for, then once you have that list, you're good. Now, one thing I wanna mention is obviously we're finding products that are going viral organically right now. If you wanna find products that are converting for paid ads, you're basically gonna be doing the same exact thing, but instead of looking for products that are just going viral, you're gonna be looking for any post that says sponsored. So as we're scrolling through here, we're likely to find a sponsored post pretty quick. This is a sponsored post. It says learn more and it says sponsored right there. Anytime something says sponsored, whether on TikTok or on Instagram or on any platform, it means it's a paid ad. So all you're gonna go ahead and do is do the same exact thing. Just click learn more, save the website link, and then paste it in your notes. You're just gonna wanna do this for every single paid ad that you find that's a product that you think you could sell yourself. So if we're scrolling through here some more, we'll probably definitely see another ad. Just like that, another one of the same ones. So just like that, as you guys can see, here's another ad. So all we would do is go click here, copy the link, and then go save it in our notes. And this is literally all you're gonna wanna do 
for these products that you're finding, whether it's a sponsored post or an organic post. Like I said, you just find whatever makes sense in your situation based off what ad platform you're gonna start on. Are you gonna start by running paid ads or are you gonna start by doing TikTok organic? I recommend you guys start with organic, but at the end of the day, it's completely up to you and I wanted to show you both ways. And at this point, it's time for the next step. Now, what we're gonna do in the next part of this video is actually search the sales on the stores that we found. That's exactly why we were saving the links. Once we save these links, we could go ahead and go on my computer or you could continue to do this on your phone and use a sales tracker. In this video, we're gonna use Shop Hunter. There's a free trial to start Shop Hunter for free in my description. So make sure you guys go there and sign up for your free Shop Hunter trial. It's an amazing tool and it's absolutely imperative to seeing if a product is actually making sales or not. There's literally no other way to do this, but with Shop Hunter, you're able to actually track the store, see how much it's making and verify that it's making sales. So all we're gonna do is pull up the stores or the links that we just saved copy the link, go over to Shop Hunter, go ahead and go to My Track Shops, and all you're gonna do here is click Add Shop. Now once you click Add, you can literally paste the link, click Add Shop, and just like that, we can see the sales on this store. Now we can see that on this store, they've done over $11,000 this month. This week, they've done almost 3,000 or 2,300, and today alone, they've already done $333 in sales. We could scroll down and also see which products are their best sellers. We could clearly see this one's their best seller, and all these are pretty close behind it. This one's their second best, and all the rest are around, say, 1,000 to you know, a couple hundred bucks. But I would say if I were you and I was going and looking at this product and seeing, hey, okay, I verified it's making sales. Now, which ones of these should I start with? I'd probably start with the best seller and then just kind of go from there. But the best seller option is cool to see because obviously if we see this store and we see these products and we can just see that, oh, hey, they've got a ton of different products on this store, we don't really know what product's selling the best unless we could see the best sellers. Because even if we could see the sales and see that this store is making over 11,000, almost $12,000 a month, if we can't see what products are the best sellers and we just have to pick between all these and guess, it makes it really hard to get something to hit for us too. So that's another great reason to use Shop Hunter is because every time you can see the sales on the store, you could also see what products in specific are generating those sales so you know which ones you should start selling yourself. I would say this is a product that we could potentially test. I usually look for products that are making over 10K a month. This one's just over 10K a month, so it's still kind of on the line, but 10K a month is something that is life-changing for many people and something that is always nice to have for anybody, no matter where you're at. So any time a product is making sales at the end of the day, it means there's definitely a lot of potential with it, and it's kind of up to you if you want to test it or not. Now, that's also why I recommend you get five to 10 website links before you start tracking sales, because then between those five and 10, you're gonna have some that are making more than others, some that might be making none, and some that could be making literally hundreds of thousands of dollars a month. So you're gonna be able to see that by tracking the sales and just pick whichever one you see the most potential with. Whatever one's making the most sales is an easy way to just make it easy and make sure you end up with something that's good. But if we go ahead and search the next store now, just to show you guys another example, we're gonna go ahead and go back to my track shops. We're gonna click add shop and we're gonna track this second one. And just like that, as you can see, this is a perfect example. This product is making hundreds of thousands a month. This product made over 105K in the last month. In the last week, it's done almost $18,000. And in the past day, it's done almost $3,000. Now, if we scroll down, we could see they're only selling three products and most of their revenue is coming from this projector. So this is the main product. This is obviously just a couple product store. I would, I would think that this dual speaker is probably an upsell they put with the projector so that when people buy the projector, they can also get a speaker for the projector that's better than the one it comes with. That being said, we can clearly know that this product is the one that we want to sell. If we want to go ahead and look at ads for it, we can. If we want to search it on AliExpress, we could search it on AliExpress right here. We can go ahead and view it on the actual store right here and see their landing page if we want to. We can do all this research directly from inside a shop hunter. But most importantly, we saw that this store is making over 100K a month selling this product, which is crazy. So between the two stores that we saw, if it was me, I would start selling this projector over the other store we tracked simply because it's making 10 times the sales, which means the market is probably so much larger for us to hopefully capitalize on versus the other product. It could also 
mean that the other broad just hasn't blown up enough yet and hasn't reached its true potential, but that's kind of up for you to judge. However, if you're a complete beginner and having trouble deciding, just go with whatever is making the most sales, as long as it's something you feel like you can market yourself. But using Shop Hunter to see this data is absolutely insane. And once again, I'm gonna remind you guys, if you haven't already, go down to the description in this video and start a free Shop Hunter trial because you're gonna be able to start tracking stores literally right now. And you guys, some of the stores you'll find on here are absolutely insane. I'll just show you some, give away some free winning products. If you guys check out my stores I'm tracking, like this one, for example, $262,000 this month. This brand's done $711,000 this month. 366,000 this month, 184,000 this month, 137,000 this month. There's so many products out there that are killing it. And just looking at my screen, you guys just got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight potential winning products to sell and the two we searched. So there's some free winning products. There's a little bit about Shop Hunter. Another thing I want to show you guys is if you are running paid ads inside of Shop Hunter, since you're going to be already using this for your sales tracker, you're also going to be able to use this section called Future Lib. And essentially what Future Lib is, is a section where you could search for paid ads. So say we find paid ads and we see, okay, this product's doing super well. For example, if we wanted to run ads for the projector we just found and we wanna get ideas for what ads we should make, we could go like this, type in projector, search, and now we can see all the ads out there for projectors and we could replicate whatever one we want. We could even go down here and filter by whatever we want. For example, if we wanna find only TikTok ads because we know we're gonna run TikTok ads, we click that and now we just are seeing only TikTok ads. We could click the same with Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Pinterest, and Reddit. Another thing we can do is filter by country. But more importantly, what I like to use the most is these up here. So right here, we could go ahead and click add start date and we could set the range to the last three months, just like we did when we were searching for products organically on TikTok. We could go ahead and search, set this to the last three months. So say July through today, set range. I think that's more than three months, but no, that is three months, perfect. So July through today, right? Basically right here, now we can see all the ads that started running July through today. So all the stuff that's currently relevant, right? Which is what we wanna see. The other thing is page active ad count. I like to set this from say five to 12. And then we're gonna see only ads that have pages that are running more than five or up to 12 ads. I could set this even to say 100 because I don't really wanna limit it to 12. And the reason this is important is because if an ad account or a Facebook page or TikTok page is running more than just one ad, it likely means they're making money because why would you have five different ads going if none of them are making money. Obviously they could just be in the test phase, but if you've already verified that they're making sales and they have more than five ads up consistently, that definitely means they're making money on them. Otherwise they would just simply turn the button to the ads off and stop losing money. So with that being said, this is a pretty great way to make sure you're finding products that are doing well. And you could also go ahead and go to store creation date if you want, and you could even go to store product count. If I wanna find stores that only have one to four products because I'm drop shipping and primarily doing one product drop shipping, I could find products that are more one product stores or just niche stores by searching based off the product count because now it's gonna only show me stores that have one to four products versus stuff like clothing brands and jewelry brands that might have 300, 400, or or even thousands of products on their website because we're obviously not gonna wanna do that ourselves. We're more so looking for products that are one product stores or niche niches that are just absolutely churning in cash. So with that being said, this is gonna be a great way to make sure you find stores that are actually only selling a couple products that you're looking to replicate yourself. Now, Future Lib is definitely a great feature inside of Shop Hunter and another thing that I use consistently and would recommend you guys use consistently. You guys will also get access to this directly through Shop Hunter, as I said. So make sure you guys just go ahead and go down to Shop Hunter and start your free trial. So you could access not only the sales tracker, but also Future Lib and all the other amazing things Shop Hunter offers. We really didn't even cover close to everything they have. They also have staff picks, top for performers and explore. In this top performers, you could look through top stores, top products, top average advertised stores, top advertised products, top track stores, recently added products. For example, if I wanna to go to top products, I could go ahead and look for my product right here or see what product's selling the best right here. So I can see right here, this one has done in the past month, $40 million in revenue. That's insane, you guys. This product's in 20 million, 19 million. So you can just see a bunch of products that are absolutely cooking under this section, which is really cool. You could do the same thing with stores and you could do the same thing with advertised products. Also top tracked, which is gonna show you the top track stores 
by the greatest number of shop hunter users. So basically, for example, right here, we see this one, 1 million. This is all the top stores that are being tracked by shop hunter users. Really cool to be able to see. Obviously, some really cool features inside of shop hunter. There's so many features in here that I can't fit it all in one video, but those are the main features that you guys need to use if you want to find winning products, or those are the main features that I use primarily. But now that you have an understanding of how to find winning products that are currently making thousands a day, you want to obviously take that product and make thousands a day yourself selling that. In order to learn the rest of this business and how to start your drop shipping store from start to finish as well as a lot more on product research and even get access to ask me questions directly whenever you need help all for free make sure you guys go to the link in the description and join my free course i have tons of videos in there not only going more in depth on product research but also about how to build your store how to do the marketing and everything you need to know in order to actually be successful with this business make sure you guys go to the link in the description or the pinned comment and click the link to join my free drop shipping course once you're inside, you get access to a video library of tons of hours of content all about dropshipping for free. And you'll also be given access to my free Discord community where you can ask me questions directly and even hop on live calls with me once a week, all for free. My name is Jeremy Ray, and I'll see you guys in the next video.